in this episode we're going to make fettuccine alfredo the way it's supposed to be made this is gonna be good Welcome to another episode. If this is your first time, remember to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any episodes. Today, we're going to make Ferrucini Alfredo, the way it's supposed to be done. You know, for all those friends of mine that they've been asking about the freaking Ferrucini Alfredo, okay? Well, this is it, the Italian way, all right? So, by the way, I couldn't wait myself, so I've been having a little, uh, what's it called, this thing. Hummus or hummus. Yeah, hummus and some Pinot Grigio. I already started the party, so. Sorry about that, but I couldn't wait. Anyway, so how we start this? Well, the key to fettuccine alfredo is, I mean the sauce part, is once again butter. So, it's butter. So I put the butter in. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is an electrical iron pan. Very easy, you know, very easy to have. Don't need um, nothing really, just plug it in and that's it, done. Right? So, yeah. That's for that. I mean, you got some Gouda cheese too. Oh, I'm hungry today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt that, that butter, okay? We're gonna melt that butter. And then once that is done, we're gonna add garlic. And if I'm lucky, I can add the onion. It's melt, melted. We're gonna lower here then. That's gonna need more butter. Yeah. See, that's gonna need more butter. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Right. So 
So, here we go. Then the green pepper. I mean, we're gonna, we ideally, ideally no. We're going to wait until this is cooking, and then we're going to add this. Now this is not the healthiest of recipes, pasta is not the healthiest of recipes to start with, so don't get your hopes up. And also this recipe takes salt, which is not good for you either, but hey, you know, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. Also we got some mushrooms there, but let's wait first for the the onions and the garlic to cook. It's important to cook. Eventually it's all gonna be together, but this part is important, this needs to cook. Mm, the smell of it. Ooh. And also, it's not the quickest. Pasta is not a a quick meal. But my friends ask me, you know, oh, why don't you do this? We want to know about this. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That is there already. A few more seconds. And you will be ready. So now, you add the green peppers. And you add the marjoram. Remember, I'm cooking for for me for a whole week, okay? <laughs> this quantities, if, I mean, depending on how many people you're cooking for, if you're cooking only for yourself, please do not put all of this because this is for a lot, a lot of people, all right? So, and the thing is that the butter evaporates really quick unlike the oil, oil that lasts a long time the butter evaporates so. so now we can start cooking I mean preparing the chicken okay. 
the important. Ferrucina Alfredo goes without chicken or with chicken, but never with shrimp. Camarones. No camarones. No shrimp. I don't know how to explain to you. Do not put shrimp. Are you listening? You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. No. Chicken. I'll tell you the So you cut a little tiny, very far, very small. Make it easy to fit in the spoon. Eventually, we're going to add up, well, might be as good at any time as any other. So, I go with this with oregano. Just make sure everything gets a little bit of it. Oregano. And then, once again, some garlic powder. Some onion powder. See powder. Powder this time. Yep. And yes, we need to put salt. Now, holy cow, that was a lot. Something like this. Remember, this is for a long time. This is not just for one plate. This is gonna be at least two, three meals for sure. Just this batch. It's going to be two, three meals for sure. So that is that. Then, just to make it quicker, and it gives a little bit of taste, we add up some wine. That's about it. I mean, for now. Because later on, we're going to add milk. But we want that chicken and that to absorb all that wine. Then later on, we add a little bit more of butter, tiny little bit, and milk. And let it really, really, really get thick. And that's the magic. We're going to put a little bit of wine. And then... It's a process, it's a very slow process. It's a very slow process. Because the milk is the last thing you put on. But necessary. And that's what makes it Alfredo. But the wine is what actually cooks the whole thing. So now, 
I will cover a little, little open so that some vapor comes out and continue on my quest to eat this and drink one Oh yeah, baby, they're really good. Okay, so now it's almost ready here. Ooh. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see this camera. It's almost dry there. Almost dry. All of that wine already consume itself. You know, mm, the smell of it. That's when we put just a tiny bit more of butter. So that it doesn't stick. I mean, just a little bit, just a little bit, because we're gonna add if you don't have any paper. No papers. No. We're gonna add the milk. And the milk, the wine, and the butter, all together. That's what's gonna make, give it a, the dad flavor of ferrucini that everybody knows and expects. That's but it's gonna happen right now. I mean, I'm doing this because of my friends, because of my subscribers, they've been asking for this. But really, trucking, no. Takes too long. And it's not very healthy either. I mean, it's all right, but compared to my other diet, no. This is not it. So now we add the milk. Just enough milk. Yeah. Just enough milk. And then once again, we wait. It's a long process. It's a very long process. Now, if you also want to give it a kick, black pepper, black, brown, ground pepper, and a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. With the milk. Also, if you want, you can add a little bit of garlic powder. Just tiny. It's just for the for the milk to grab that thing. Yeah. And now you let it simmer there. Recover here. Let it a bit open so that that milk can evaporate. You know, and um, we stop when it's creamy. When you feel it creamy and dense, and that's when it's ready. So, put this in the freezer. It doesn't melt. Ah. And once again, we wait. In the meantime, got homework for you. This is what you do while you wait for this. 
Drink Pino Grillo. <laughs> yeah. This one is empty. So we're gonna have to improvise and bring another one. <laughs> I was ready this time. Yeah, this time I, I was ready. I'm in Vancouver now, so you know, I can go and get everything I want. So anyway, we wait. I think it's ready now. I mean, the sauce is already creamy. You can see it. Mmm, yum, yum. The only thing is left to make is the pasta. Okay, okay. So this is ready. So we're going to unplug and start cooking. Oops, the pasta. Now we already put the water. Got a little add a little bit of salt. A little bit. To the water and then and then we add a little bit of olive oil so that the pasta doesn't stick The sauce is ready. The pasta is ready. <coughs> Usually, the way to do this is one at a time, one ration at a time. You serve the pasta and then you serve this, the sauce. But, we don't have that now. So, remember we're cooking for truckers here. We're gonna put it in containers. So, I'm going to put it all in there. And then mix it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. 
let's try this thing important here this is message for the Cuban people pasta you eat it with spoon and fork do not use a knife it's just horrible when I see that happening Cuban people using knife to cut pasta it's just wrong sacrilege that's what it is mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's very good. Mm. That's very, very good. That's good. I bet you stop before I eat the whole thing. <laughs> One more. Come on, get in there. Make sure that if you're having fettuccine, you have a Pinot Grillo or, un, or a very well, very good Sauvignon Blanc. So, in any case, that's how it's done. If you like this video and you want to see more about cooking or trucking, click on that link. <laughs> So you can see all the episodes. Hope you like it. Bye bye.